Hi, it's Kent here from Apprentice Recruit, and if you're about to put on an apprentice in your business, you need to know this. So if you're a small business out there and you're looking to put an apprentice on, then something that you need to be aware of, and I think a lot of companies probably take this for granted, but uh, a lot of people will leverage, uh, I suppose, what you'd say is their probation period, where they will generally put somebody on and uh, give them a trial for anywhere from a few weeks to a few months, and then look to then sign them into their apprenticeship. So what a lot of companies probably aren't aware of is that if they're not actually engaged in a contract and have been signed into their apprenticeship, then uh, you're leaving yourself exposed as far as mainly your wages. So uh, we've just taken a call from a, a young apprentice this morning and um, he's just uh, stepped out of a, a job with a uh, previous employer and he'd been working for that company for around three to four months and they had never actually signed him into his apprenticeship. And while he was with them, they paid him an apprentice wage the whole time. So now because he hasn't actually been covered by a contract and isn't officially in an apprenticeship, that's where you can leave yourself exposed. So he could now potentially go back to the fair work office and he could uh, talk to them about uh, the situation that he's been in. And potentially he could take his employer for the difference in wages between his apprentice wage and what he would be earning if he was on as a labourer, because that's essentially what he's been doing. So, and that could be the difference between, say, $13 an hour and, say, $20, $22 an hour. So a significant difference. And look, I had an example of a company who approached us about two years ago to look for putting an apprentice on for them, and then they decided to do it themselves. And he put two guys on, kept them both on for around about three or four months, and uh, didn't pay them a casual rate. He paid them the apprentice rate. They were never signed in. Anyway, they actually took him to the Fair Work office, and he got done. And that cost him about $7,000 per apprentice. So that was an expensive exercise. And now he's on the Fair Work Office radar, um, as well as uh, the Department of Education and Training when it comes to his apprentices. So it's not only the, the ramifications of what it's costing financially, but also now he's on the radar and he's gonna be under scrutiny from those other organizations. So as we advise our clients, if you're gonna put an apprentice on, once you've signed them into their apprenticeship and you've signed an official contract, then you've got a three month probation period for them to go through. So within those first three months, if things aren't panning out on either side, you can cancel the contract. So uh, it's, uh, it's a little bit easier to, uh, to get out of that uh, contract than what it is once they're in a longer term position. But at least the option is there and at least you've covered yourself as far as the wages are concerned and they can't take you to fair work office. So uh, anyway, if you've got any questions about that, uh, don't be afraid to uh, give us a buzz and we're happy to have a chat and give you some advice and also pass you on to the Fair Work Office if you are worried. But the main thing is don't leave yourself exposed. You're only going to get in trouble and it's only come back, going to come back and bite you in the ass. If you got any benefit out of today's video, please feel free to like, share and also subscribe for any future videos that we produce. Thanks again.